Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're going to be putting our bracing onto our shed, and then we're going to be building the first half of our roof. Okay, so what you see laid out here in front of us is all the pieces that we're going to need. We're going to need four pieces of bracing. The bracing is going to be measured at seven and three quarter inches. We're going to need our ridge board. Our ridge board is going to be measured at eight inches. We're going to need our two gable studs. The gable studs are going to be measured at one inch each. And then we're going to need five rafters. The rafters are going to be five inches each. Okay, so to start off, we're going to move all this off to the side. And the, to start off, we're going to be starting off with our bracing. Okay, so we're going to bring in our shed. Okay, and so we have our shed here. And you can see we have our offsets. Okay, so this right here, this wall, you can see is on the outside edge. And this wall is on the inside edge of the corner of our wall. Okay, so we're going to start off with the front side. We're going to start off with this outside edge. And the way that I want you guys to place your bracing is going to be on the inside edge of all four walls. Okay, so you're going to be placing your bracing on the inside edge of this wall. Okay, and then when we look at this wall right here, we're doing the same thing. Inside edge of all four of our walls. And that's going to give us a nice, strong shed okay so one thing i did say what right was that we had some tape on here okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove that tape from one wall at a time right don't remove all your tape just remove one wall at a time okay and we're going to save that tape because after we glue we may tape again depending on the stability of the structure Okay, so looking at this corner first, we're going to do this corner first. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my glue. Remember, so I am using a glue stick. Okay, so I'm going to look at this bottle right here. I'm going to use a glue stick to coat my bracing. Okay, and I'm going to do that right here. Okay, so I'm just going to start on one end. And I'm just going to use that glue stick to coat the inside edge of that bracing okay and so i'm going all the way down from one side to the other and i want to coat that entire that entire inside edge with some wood glue right now once you do that you're going to bring it onto the inside of your wall and so we're going to do it from this direction it's a little hard to do here with the camera but i think we'll be okay okay and so then you're going to attach that on to the inside edge. And you're making sure that the glue is attaching both of your walls together. Okay. And so it should be attaching both walls together. Okay. And then the other thing that you may want to do is take a little extra glue. And then on that outside edge, also put some glue on the bottom side, right? So on that bottom side, outside edge, I'm going to put a little extra glue so that way it is together, okay? And then I'm going to use that same tape that I had before. I'm going to just tape that to hold it in place while it dries, okay? And so we're going to do that on all four corners. So that's what we're going to start with today. Okay, so you can start doing that. And so now we're moving our, we're rotating our shed around. I'm going to take the tape off of this side right here. And so again, once I get this off, I'm going to save it. And we're doing that on all four corners, guys, so you guys can keep going, okay? And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause the video here, and I'll come back when I have all four corners glued, okay? So you're going to do all four corners, and then when we come back, we're going to be doing the gable studs and the ridge board. Okay, guys, we're back. We have added all of our bracing, right? You can see all of our bracing on the inside now. 
And so now we are going to be adding our gable studs and our ridge board. Okay, so we have our eight inch, we have our eight inch ridge board, and then we're going to have two gable studs. Now my suggestion is that you add your glue. Okay, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to add our glue to our to one side first, okay? And then you're going to have a little piece of tape ready, okay? And you're going to you're going to tape that piece from the gable stud over your ridge board. That's going to hold that in place while it dries. And it's also going to make it a lot easier for you to place this up on our, on our shed, right? So we're going to glue one side at a time, tape it. And then we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Get some glue first. I'm going to put some glue on there. Then I'm going to glue it. And then I'm going to get a piece of tape. And then I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over one side to the other side. Okay, so get my piece of tape. And so I'm going to go over from one side of it to the other side. This is just holding it in place, right? So when we glue it up on the on the shed, it will hold. Okay, so now we have our we have our gable studs and we have our ridge board. And so now what you're going to be doing is basically over your center cripple here on your door, you're going to be placing your gable studs, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to put a pretty good, pretty good little gob of glue right there. And so this may be one of those hard parts for you guys to kind of balance. All right, so we're going to put a little glue. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, so I'm going to line up my ridge board here. And I'm going to do that on the other side. A little gob of glue, right? And then I'm going to place my gable studs over. I'm just kind of balancing that in place for now. All right, so now it's in place, okay? Now you may want to let that dry. You may want to let that dry before you start placing your ridge boards. If you want to put a little piece of tape there, you can. Okay, make sure you clean off any excess glue. Like I have some excess glue on this other side. I'm going to clean it off with a little stick that I have here. Okay, and so now I'm just making sure that this is nice and straight. It's holding it in place. Okay. So now you have your ridge board in place. Now you're going to start placing your rafters. Okay, and the rafters are going to be the same way. We're going to be taking our, let's turn this over right here. And so I'm going to start from the edge right here, and I'm going to go from the ridge board to the edge. Okay, so from the ridge board to the edge. And so all I'm going to do is place my rafter just like this, right? So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on both sides. So having this camera here does make this a little bit more difficult, but it should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to place that. And so your glue your glue on the other end isn't going to be on the very end, right? It's going to be up on a rafter just.
post. And so this ridge board is really going to help keep that, and this rafter is really going to help keep that in place as well. And so making sure it's nice and sturdy. Okay, so there's one, one rafter down, okay? And so your spacing on your rafter is going to be every two inches, okay? Your spacing on your rafters is going to be every two inches, okay? So now I'm going to take my, and so that may be one thing that we can do before we put this up on the, is to make sure that you have your spacing. Otherwise, you can just take your ruler Kind of guesstimate, right? Estimate where that is. Just measured it right here. So now I'm going to just put a little mark showing me where it is. Okay. And I'm going to take my next rafter and do the same thing. So I'm just putting glue on the end and then I'm putting glue where it's going to lay on the end of the wall. And so then I'm going to place it where that mark is. Okay. All right. And so now we're moving it down. Okay. So our next, our next measurement, two inches, right? So I'm going to go right here, two inches from the end, put a measurement mark. Okay, got my measurement mark. And now I'm going to do my third rafter. The rafter done. Okay, make sure that that's placed correctly. Now I'm going with my fourth rafter. Let's make sure. There we go. Another two inches. All right, so let's move this over. Let's go with another two inches, right? So two inch mark right here. And so my marks are on the side where I can see them. <clears throat> Get our third rafter. This is our fourth rafter now. And then we have our last, let's make sure this is on the end. And then we have our last rafter coming on the very end. Okay. And so at this point, put this. I'm just going to put it over that tape. I'm just going to keep that tape on there. It's not going to hurt anybody. That way you don't have to take it off. We can just keep that tape on there. That's fine. All right, so we got our last rafter on. And so now we have all four or all five of our rafters, right? And so this is where this part will end, okay? And so this is where you should be. By the end of today, you should have five rafters. They should be evenly spaced. So your first half and then tomorrow we'll work on the second half. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you tomorrow.